Hello guys, it's Leo again, and uh, for this tutorial, we're going to go over um, how to use the aggregation function, namely the window function, um, to um, process your input stream. All right, so uh, let me recap on what we have done. Uh, this is the first app, and in the first app, we're going to have we have a trades in input stream, which has two attributes, symbol or quantity. Symbol is a string, represents the company name, and quantity represents how many things are going to be in the trades. Um, trade filter actually um, has an if-else name. If the quantity is greater or are equal to 10,000, then it's going to go over to the big trades output. And if it's smaller, then it's going to be go into the small trades um, output. And from the last video, we have already created our um, feed simulation uh, for the first app. It's not showing here because I haven't run it. Um, but uh, if you already have it, then uh, good, you can run it uh, by clicking on launch first app. And if you don't have it, go back to my uh, previous videos and create your first uh, um, demo app. All right, so I'm going to click on launch first app in SB test and debug perspective. Again, if you don't have it, then uh, window, open perspective, and then you're going to see a, a SB test and debug. Just click OK, and now you're in. Um, click here in launch first app. Um, uh, click OK when if you have edited it. And now uh, we see the fee simulation over here. <coughs> if we run it, everything should um, be in order. Okay, so now um, I want to add a um, window. So how do we add it? Uh, we go to SB Author. Now, um, now, just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to have an average of the of a window by two input stream. All right, what it means is if I have the first quantity to be 1,000 and the second quantity to be 2,000, then I want it to output 1,500 uh, uh, and then to go into the trades filter and it goes into big trades and small trades. Or, or small, I mean it goes into the small trades. Okay, uh, so let's do it. Um, so first, dra drag and drop your aggregation function under operator and adapters in the palette. Um, right, and then for now, we're going to call it window. Windows, and then double click on it, and then now you're going to see a red error um, for uh, dimensions. We just click on add dimension, and the name is going to be window. And now uh, you're going to see a configuration. So for the opening policy, this one is for overlapping windows. We don't really want overlapping. We want every two tuples. So one, two is one group. Three, four is another group. Um, uh, so we're going to have a window size of two tuples. All right? And we don't want any intermediate emissions. Um, click, just type in two, and then click OK. So now we have our first dimension. And um, notice that there are other options as well. Aggregation function is going to be um, the thing you output. Uh, so of course, we want the, the field name to be quantity, to be something different. So quantity average. And the expression is not going to be the last value. It's going to be what? It's going to be um, the average of the quantity attribute coming from uh, the input stream. So now what we're expecting to see is uh, uh, um, the trades in are going to be grouped into windows and then the windows output a, a tuple that calls, called uh, quantity average and then we want to link it to trades filter. So remember that the field name here is quantity average different from quantity. Uh, so in order to do that we're going to delete this um, arrow from trades in into trades filter and then uh, link this one into the windows, and then link windows into trace filter. So now it shows red because before it says quantity is greater or equal to 10,000. Now we don't really want the quantity, we want the quantity average to be greater or equal to 10,000, and now it goes to um, blue, meaning there's no errors. Okay, um, so now everything should work for the windows. Um, let me see what it does. All right, just click on launch first application and go to test and debug view. All right, and now um, you 
have the feed simulation already created, and now we can uh, run it and then resume it. Now we have uh, many input streams. So I'm expecting the first value to be uh, to be what uh, this one is twelve hundred and fifty plus five thousand, so six thousand two hundred and fifty. It's going to be the first value. Let's see, 6,250 is the first value. And then the second value should be uh, 7,500 divided by 2, which is um, 3,750. Let's see, 3,750. And then here we're going to have um, <coughs> uh, 5,000 because those two values are the same. 5,000. So everything works here. And then notice that all the values are, are, are less than 10,000. That's why all of them goes to small trades. OK, so now we have demonstrated um, how the two window non-overlapping uh, going to be. Let's try another thing. Right, go to SV authoring and then change the windows. Um, change the window dimension. Uh, you just like, double click on windows and then click on dimensions. And now uh, we want it to have an overlapping window of uh, one. So namely, you have one and two to be the first group, two and three to be the second group, three and four to be the third group, so on and so forth. So in here, we're going to have put, have put one. OK, so this open pair has to be less than two. All right, if you put three here, it's not going to work. If you put three here, then it's going to complain that the advanced value cannot be greater than the window size. So what do we do? We go back there and then add it into one. So now every one tuple is going to open a uh, window. Let's uh, save it and then by Control S. And then now it wants to restart. Of course, we want our application to be restarted. So let's open the test and debug perspective. All right, and now let's run the simulation. OK, pause. Um, so let, let's see the input, actually. 5,500, uh, 5, it's going to be 3,750. That's the same thing here. And then 2,500 and then 30,000. It's going to be, uh, uh, be 16,250, right? 16,250, that's the second one. And then the third one is going to be 3 and 4, because 1, 2 is the first one, 2, 3 is the second one, and 3, 4 is the third one. This one is going to be 30,000, uh, 30, which is good, and it's big trades because it's greater than 10,000. So it looks like it's working. All right, so this tutorial tells you how to create Windows in stream, stream base. Uh, for the next video, we're going to talk about um, the drawing operator, and uh, I'll see you there. Bye.